Hello and welcome to Station Airs. Now, you may be wondering, how do I get into a creative world? When you go to a new world, there is no way of asking for a creative world, so I'd recommend maybe somewhere easy like Mars. Start any game and call it something creative. Load into the train. Now, you can do this with an existing save, but it's probably better if you, if you do a new save for the purposes of testing. So this is a fairly nice area. Now what you want to do is quick save and exit the game. Now you want to navigate to the folder that's been created in your your user documents, my game station is saves folder. And you want to open the world save settings. Now I use a program called Notepad++. This, as you can see, is uh, it has numbers down the side. You can basically highlight any anything in the, the the text, and it'll show you the beginning and end of and every in every time that it's actually in the code, it'll show you. So it's just a nice, easy way of coding, switching between codes, that kind of thing. So what we want to do in world settings is look for game mode survival and we want to change that to creative with the capital c and then if we go right down the bottom here you'll see difficulty setting it says easy but then there's a hunger rate which you can change to zero hydration rate which you can change to zero oxygen rate you can change to zero lung damage rate same and you can edit loads of different parameters within the world setting file. You can even take out storms. Um, I'm not in, I've never done that. So I don't actually know how, but I'm pretty sure you can. So then you save that and you load up your game again. So once you've loaded back into the game, you'll know that you've done the, the editing correctly by pressing forward slash. You'll have that box there at the top left come up. And the first thing you probably want to do is spawn in the item wand, or I call it the wand. It's actually the item authoring tool. Just use a scroll wheel there to move up and down, press and it disappears, and then press F9 and it spawns in whatever you've got highlighted. So let's take, for example, frames. Everyone knows you need to build on frames. So you can either spawn them in with F9 and use 20, 30 at a time, or you can right click with the wand and just click, click, click. It's a lot faster than using tools. You don't actually need any of the ingredients to finish this, but you don't need the steel to finish the steel frames. Right click to remove the build menu, point at it, left click, and it'll just fill in the frames. You can even go through the deconstruction phase as well. But in order to actually remove the, the item, you'll have to use the welder or wire cutters or whatever it is that the item happens to need to be removed. So even by putting the oxygen down to zero, it still appears that you do use a little bit. So one thing you might need is an oxygen tank. You can get a dynamic canister of oxygen and pop it down right there. Now, most people, you, if you're new to the game, you may not know that that little warning area there can be used to pop in your canister and refill it. So now you're in the world, you might want to have some power. Now, you might want to have some power for your suit because that will keep going down. And what you can do is just type in nuclear, pop a battery into the world, it'll charge instantly. And then you can swap that with your suit and you can make as many of them as you want. Something else you might want. Now, instead of you might be thinking, oh, I can put a nuclear battery in a power area power controller. Well, you can, but you could also spawn in something called an RTG. Now, this is something based on a real life idea of a nuclear powered device, which will produce lots of power. Um, let's get some heavy cables. It's obviously not in, in production because it's very dangerous, potentially very dangerous. So again, you can either spawn in the heavy cables and manually pick them up and put them down, which takes a bit of time, or you can just bump, 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 and all the variations of that 
So you have an RTG, you might want to get a battery, station battery, large battery, pop that down, turn that on, and as you'll see, it's charging away nicely. And you can put as many of them RTGs down as you choose to, and then you can go and mess around with power networks to your heart's content and have a bit of a play. Something else you can also do is if you put in rocket or rock, you'll get rocket fuel. And again, you can make as many canist canisters as this as you want. Then you might want to put in something like, I don't know, a tank connector. You just right click, put it down. You don't have to spawn it in. And then you will need your tools, so don't throw your tool bag away just because you've got the magic wand. The magic wand does fit in the tool belt, that's a good thing. But you could just maybe pop one of these down on there and just go play with it as you choose to. Something else you might want to find is the logic circuit. But instead of putting IC, because if you put in IC, you won't find anything like an IC. If you type in circuit you will find the integrated circuit chip and again you can spawn as many of them in as you like and make huge towers to your heart's content you can also find circuit or logic to you to, you can put in logic to get to the ic housing or item logic kit so between that and that you can go and play around with as much programming as you want and between these you can go and test some atmospherics but you can also test the uh, anything you can also test anything you want to really so for example we're going to fire in some explosives a remote detonator Now, where did I put that battery? There it is. Turn that on. Link it up. Stand well back. And watch the fireworks. Boom. Kaboom, Rico. Kaboom. There we go. A nice big crater. So, use that information to your heart's content and make whatever you will. I hope that helps. Goodbye for now.